Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at a coastal process. And this coastal process is called longshore drift. Now longshore drift is a type of movement of uh, sediment or particles from one side of the beach of the other. And it's very important that we draw this diagram from a top-down perspective. Now the uh, most important thing in this diagram and the factor that actually causes longshore drift is the wind direction, in this case the prevailing wind direction which you can see labelled on the diagram. The prevailing wind direction will, call wa will cause waves to move in exactly the same direction as the prevailing wind. And they will pick up particles from one side of the beach and they will move them up the beach due to the swash that um, rolls up the beach and when they reach the top of the swash they will roll back down the beach as backwash. Now when you're drawing this it's very important the swash movement follows the wave direction because that's the main thing that influences it. However the backwash movement is influenced by gravity and therefore is vertically back down the beach. So this process continues over and over again every time a wave breaks on the beach and eventually what will happen is that the particles will move from one side of the beach, in this case the left hand side of the beach, to the right hand side of the beach following this um, movement of uh, longshore drift. Thank you very much for watching and have a really great day.